Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? Sorry for, uh... We're in a different location. I'm actually editing a Granddaddy Herb's video as we speak. As promised, I told you guys I was going to record one today. So I wanted to stay true to that. How are you guys doing tonight? It's going to kind of be a short one. Because I do need the um, extra time to be able to edit this. And then I still have to run to the store to uh, take care of uh, a few groceries and things. Got to go get dog food and whatnot. Uh, it was a nice chill day. We had uh, AJ's Reptiles over today and uh, Ball and Chain Constrictors. Uh, we're, you know, messing around, checking out the snakes and stuff. But um, how's everybody doing? If you're here, let me know. Say what's up. Jose Vargas, what's up? Jamie, what's up? Sorry I had to leave your your live so quickly. I was in the middle of something when I was watching the live, so I had to bounce out pretty quickly. Uh, what's up, King Blue? Oh, so since you guys are here and I'm next to my computer, um, now is a good opportunity to take care of a few things that I've been meaning to do. So um, you guys are going to notice something happen here in a second. Let me get onto my YouTube channel here. Um, one second. It's something I can do. So, something I can do from the computer, but I can't do on my phone. There we go. Let's see. Hmm. AJ, lol. <laughs> yeah, AJ was here. We were watching your live. Let's see. It's okay, bro. Thanks. But go ahead and and write write a little comment. Say what's up, granddaddy, or something. You guys will notice something will happen with some of your names here. But something I've oh I've been meaning to do for a long time. Yo, what's up, Ray? What's going on, man? So you guys should start seeing some moderator statuses here. Since a lot of you guys be in the lives every night, I want to give you guys some of that moderator status. So, there you go. Now, now it should start showing up a little bit quicker here. But yeah, I'm chilling. This is kind of like a little extra bedroom. This is where all my computer equipment is. Um, it's also where I've got my incubator. So I've got my incubator down there. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you guys for being awesome supporters, man appreciate it so let me go to where you guys are familiar guys make sure to hit that like button and red button hit the bell appreciate it so did a little bit of filming so i got the tripod out uh, everything's nice and fed uh where's my little tripod for the phone okay so this is what i actually been using to do all the live streams uh, it actually came with my um, my photo box that I use for some of my pictures so works pretty nicely uh, smashed it thanks man who's going to be the first to go on timeout right <laughs> that's hilarious a um, little bit of an inside joke uh, Manuel's reptiles what's up man welcome KY constrictors nice to have you back man it's, it's been a few lives bro but um, I forget I think it was on Ed's live or whatnot. I don't remember whose, but um, Ray at Euphoric Reptiles put me in timeout for five minutes and got me all heated. <laughs> Watson, what's up? Just saying, hey guys, much love. Thanks for stopping by for sure. Um, I was in the middle of editing a video for tomorrow that I think you guys will enjoy. Um, someone requested that I show the breeding plans and stuff that I've done so far. So it's a video that's all about all the ovulations, all the clutches that are expecting and all that good stuff. So um, super excited. Um, got a lot of good stuff. Um, the female um, the female banana still hasn't dropped her eggs, but she's still right on schedule, believe it or not. I know we talk about it every day, but she's still right on schedule. I'll be the one. <laughs> hey, KY, KY, watch it, but I'll do it. Yeah, he will. Um, did you say something about your birthday? What's for your birthday? Uh, nice, smashed it. What's up, buddy? Been a few days, I know. Um, so let me go back to the other room real quick. I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, okay. It's 
where I keep all my... This is like an extra bedroom, so it's got like toys and there's some art and stuff. But if you guys have stickers, please do send them because they, they do end up on the incubator. You see that, Ray? There's yours. AJ just came by today, so he slapped his up here. Or I slapped it up there for him. But we got the Genetic Hunters, G-Rated, KY Constrictors. Um, we got one of my old stickers that I don't have anymore up there. Wasn't too happy with that sticker, so I didn't I didn't make any more of them. But um, nice, Jamie. Get it. Nice to have an, in a nice collection. Watson, way to go on your channel. Uh, let's see, Watson. Yes, Joe. Jose. Hey, KY. Golden Boy. What's good, man? Welcome. Ray, I need a sticker, bud. When you get some, I like to get one from you, bro. A logo. Yeah, and then I'm rocking the GDH shirt. Um, the only thing I've really got made is, you can see a bunch of these fridge magnets. I made these a while ago. A few years ago, actually. Uh, there we go. So, Granddaddy Herps, Majestic Royals and Garters. And this is where I, like, I quarantine some of the stuff and... I've got my incubator. I've got a tub nice and ready for when the uh, banana decides she wants to drop her, her clutch. To those of you guys just tuning in, I'm in the middle of editing a video for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Give you guys a little sneak peek. I think I have the volume off. Yep, I have the volume off. It's been a little while since I put together a nice video for you guys, but I also want to take Oh, my microphone's on. That, um, Monday through Friday, I do a late night live, generally between 10 to 10.30. The sweet spot is always There we go. About 10. So, yep. There's a little sneak peek for you guys. For sure, KY, my stickers get shipped out two days. Oh, look, there's me right there. <laughs> I've got the uh, live stream on that other monitor right there. I know I definitely need to get some stickers and other stuff made. Thinking about getting a super fire for my birthday since you didn't see it the last time. Yeah, definitely, that'd be rad. Got my GDH magnet on the fridge, sweet. Nice. You also got that GDH shirt, same one, the white one. Yep. I do have some, I, I need to post them for sale. Still got a little bit left down here in the in the box. But I need to sell them because um, in order for me to make them, they, they get pretty expensive pretty quick. Um, let's see. Yeah, I was going to make the live kind of short just because I do want to put some, some quality time into that video. Um, you guys know my style with my videos. I like to really kind of chop and screw the video up a lot. It's 1.23 a.m. here in Ohio. Wow. I don't know if y'all heard, but keep... Uh, Chasing y'all prayers. No, I didn't hear, man. What's good, man? And uh, forgive me, but I don't know who that is either. Uh, so who's Chase? Shirts. Can I buy one? Yes, most definitely. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to post it somewhere where you guys can see. Um, the shipping alone is like five, five dollars and some change. I can't seem to find anything cheaper from that. Chase from Jacob Elka Reptiles. Uh, what, what's wrong with him, man? I didn't hear. Was he in like an accident? Is he sick? What's going on? I pretty much was not online at all today. Um, it's been a really hectic day. Pretty stressful day, actually. Brain tumor. Ouch, man. You know my incubator is metal. A GDH magnet would look good on there. I'm sure. Nice. I got you, bro. Dang. Brain tumor, huh? I actually knew someone recently that just went through brain surgery to get one of those removed. That's horrible, man. That's not good. That sucks, man. Wouldn't wish that on anybody. Back in the room. Quick little sneak peek. Got a new rack in today. Uh, I'm gonna have the tubs and everything tomorrow, so I'll get to finish putting that 
finished putting that together. It's an 11 high, it's just like one of these, but it, it's one extra level and it's a, it's a true vision with vision tubs. So um, instead of it having the Sterilite tubs, it's gonna have the vision tubs. So it's a little, just a little bit um, more compact, but still uh, so brutal. Love and live life to the fullest every day, boys. Yeah, exactly, man. Nice, what do those racks go for? Generally, um, you can't really buy those in a store. Uh, it's kind of like an online only type of gig. So you're unfortunately you're gonna pay an extra like 200 bucks for shipping. Um, luckily I know somebody here local that bought out a bunch of them from uh, Vision. So you're a true Vision. Oh, shut up AJ. <laughs> so I got them at somewhat of a discount um, factoring in that I didn't pay shipping on it. AJ, hey. Yo, Jamie, you can put AJ in timeout. Actually, no, you can't because you're both moderators. Uh, so I don't know how that would work. Nice to have the hookups. Yeah. <laughs> Got to make sure you're really getting hooked up, though. How can I contact you for the shirt? Um, just hit me up on, like, Instagram. Um, if I remember right, I think I only have one extra large black left. I've got two extra large white, and I have a good amount of large both black and white. Um, I don't have anything bigger than an XL this time around, but I will, you know, I <laughs> I got some big homies, you know what I mean? So I got to get some double XLs um, for for some some of the peeps. Um, I meant big as in like the gun show, you know what I mean? So I feel lonely being in, in black, low, all this blue around me. <laughs> nice. Uh, there we go. Yeah, AJ was over here a little while ago. Man, all these all these feeders behind me, they're all cuddling. Um, so what else I got going on over here? I threw the uh, pinstripe desert ghost back in with the pied female. So he he had like a nice like week off, week and a half off. So hopefully she's still eating though. So give them a few more tries. See if I can get them locked up for a few days and give them like two or three weeks off and then try again. And if that doesn't go, then it's just not meant to be the season. Eggs, no, we're getting there. But the banana head clown female, she's, she's right on schedule. So, so tell me what is a jigsaw? Uh, jigsaw um, is a Mojave pinstripe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm doing well. Pinstripe Mojave, yep. And a um, a kingpin is you just swap out the Mojave with the lesser, and it's so it's a lesser pinstripe. Is the desert ghost gene the one you can't use a visual female to breed? No, that is just a straight up desert. So it's kind of dumb that they named Desert Ghost, Desert Ghost, knowing that the desert stuff was there. But Desert Ghost is an old gene. It's actually 10 to 15 years old. It just wasn't kind of popular until recent years. But no, Desert Ghost is actually a recessive gene, whereas the desert is a co-dominant or a dominant gene. Um, so it's just it's not to be mistaken with a desert combined with a ghost it's its own thing it's not compatible with ghost okay too many moderators lame are, are you mad now well you know what i'm gonna take your status away you're right there there are too many you weren't showing up to these lives so i had to you know have other people step in bad naming <laughs> aj next time i'm live come in so i can make you a mod yeah thanks now i want desert ghost it looks so badass with other jeans yeah, even AJ was uh, in love with a baby pinstripe desert ghost earlier. Unfortunately, I don't have, you know, I kind of took my time on the desert ghost project. So I don't have any other visuals other than this baby pinstripe desert ghost that I just hatched out. But it's like near impossible to get his, his colors here on camera but what I can do is I can show you him with his sister so you can 
get a, an idea. She's just a pinstripe, but she's Het Desert Ghost. Um, there you go. You can kind of see the difference. But even she's a killer-looking pinstripe, and it's that Desert Ghost um, influence. Because normally, uh, at her size, she would have browned out a lot already if she was just... Um, I mean, she is just a straight-up pinstripe, but she's Het for Desert Ghost. Todd over at TNT Balls has uh, one of the sisters. This girl is just absolutely stunning. She's got a lot of golds on her, a lot of yellows. You get her out of this light. This light's nice sometimes, but sometimes it just it makes it hard to capture these the colors of these animals. She's nice and yellow, especially the bottom part. She's a stunning pinstripe female. She's right about 700 grams. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm jealous. Don't make me cry. I said you could have it. What's up, Genomic Labs? What's good, man? I'll leave this girl alone. What's up, Jason? Uh, Rainbow Hearts to AJ. That's what's up. What's up, Rob? Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost is awesome. She's beautiful things. What's the best way to clean a vision rack? Asking for a friend. <laughs> well, um, seriously, AJ, like once a year, it's not a bad idea to, to strip down all the heat cable and everything and just rinse it off with a pressure washer or, or a hose. It'll clean it right up. But the good thing is that the, the bottom of the tubs right on where most of the dirt collects. So it's not really an issue. And then up top, it's nice and, and flat. So you can literally just get a, you know, some F10 and a spray bottle and some paper towels and you can clean up in there, and get it all nice and clean. Asking for a friend, that's funny. Yo, Genomic Labs, what's good, man? Genomic, you got any, um, any eggs coming or you have any eggs on the ground? What you got going on over there, bro? AJ's keeping everything a secret over there. AJ, have you had a... I forgot to ask you, have you had a clutch at the ground yet? I know you're kind of like me where everything's kind of going late and a lot of the males are going off of food. But, um... Yeah, that. So, AJ was here earlier and he was suggesting that... He palpated the Super Pastel Blitz and he was suggesting that I give her a go. She's uh, about 1,350 grams if I remember from us weighing her earlier. So, I don't know, I might give her a go. Look at that gorgeous pattern. He said roughly about three nice sized follicles in her from what he can feel. Plus she's got a rat in her, so who knows. I just don't know what I would pair to her right now, but the Super Vanilla Mystic isn't a bad option because he's he's got good size on him and he's a breeder that I think I could take her take him to. So it'll be a small clutch. Hoping to have two more girls ovulate. Nice. All my females are going late this year. Lots dropping soon. Yep. Uh, oh my God! What kind is she? Yeah, she's a Super Pastel Blitz. She looks like she's asking for it. <laughs> yeah. I had to push AJ away because he was starting to unzip his pants. Yep, we got uh, we got a good amount of ovulations over here. Uh, I'm getting ready to pair the pinstripe GHI back to the butter. Uh, breed clown to her. I don't have any visual clowns, any visual male clowns that is. I do have two visual female clowns. Maybe I should put Desert Ghost to her, huh? Blitz Desert Ghost? Ooh, that would be nice. Um, I was just, I was hoping the blackhead yellow belly would be ready, but he's not, unfortunately. I've got two going into prelay. One is a champagne was paired with the pied. 
the other pastel 66% pet clown proven out. Nice. Good luck. Hello, Gay. How's it going over there? Welcome. My, one of my little grumpy girls, one of the little pied females. I got four visual pied females. Just a year and a half ago, I didn't have anything pied. I always had a love hate for pied, but I love them now. That's for sure. She she hates to show her face. Nice little black marks right here. There she is. She's got these little beady eyes. Gorgeous girl. Good morning, huh? Oh yeah, I forget what time it is for you. <laughs> Lorga, what's up? Welcome. Blackbald, welcome man. Welcome back, Blackbald. Nice to have you here. So I'm probably not gonna push this live further than 30 minutes because I do have a video that I recorded that I need to finish editing so that you guys can see it tomorrow. Um, I'm debating whether I should put it live at, you know, 8.30 in the morning or if I should put it in the afternoon. Um, but it'll be ready tonight, that's for sure. And then I still have to go run to the store and get some dog food. My poor dog's been feeding on uh, eggs and dog treats today. She ran out of food yesterday. So a little fun fact, Austin's terrified of spiders. So he was here yesterday and me and AJ were, or yesterday, he was here today and me and AJ were looking at the tarantulas and he literally bolted out of here. Hey Gay, I didn't see you there watching Shawshank Redemption. Oh, come on, man. I stay up so I can see your live. I know, I know. But sometimes I've been paying the price in the morning by staying up late doing these lives and I feel it at work, especially when I'm working 12, 13 hour shifts. Doing good things, busy. I gather you are haven't seen in you what? Sorry. Uh, I know that was to Rob. Okay. All right. Let's bring you guys by the hatchling rack. Let's see. Okay. This guy took a nice little meal down today, so pretty happy. He's the one I told you guys is a picky eater. And sometimes he'll eat one week and skip out on two weeks, so hopefully he keeps it up. He's an Enchi Orange Dream. Nice Orange Dream sides. Nice reduction from the Enchi. And he's Posset Clown, so we'll see what happens in the future. May put him to the pastel clown in the future. So at the very least, I'll get some some orange dream heads. That's your problem. My entertainment matters more than your pain. Kidding, seriously, I know, dude. I know you're messing with me. It's funny. Justin, see you still have your sense of humor. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I love his marking, yeah. This girl just got offered her first weaned rat today. You can see she's nice and, and full. She's in a deep shed right now. And her being a boa constrictor, she's still eating while in shed. And look at those colors that she's got going. What's the number of tubs on that hatchling rack? Uh, this one has 64 tubs. But I'm um, getting two levels added within the next day or so. So it should, uh, it was actually supposed to hold 72 tubs, but thanks to AJ, he caught it. I never actually counted them, but it's two levels short and we're gonna get the two levels added. Uh, there we go, she's gorgeous. Uh, she's a beauty, yeah, she is. I definitely wanna get a few more of these, that's for sure.
but with the BOAs, it's a project that I've, I've got all the patience in the world for. Um, hopefully some of the IMG stuff gets a little bit more affordable in the next year or two. Um, I definitely want to add a few king snakes, um, some more garter snakes, and just have a few little colubrid projects to work with. You know, I kind of want to expand my horizons a little bit, but not, not go too crazy. What's nice about this rack, too, is it takes three of these smaller tubs as well. So these are perfect for, these are perfect for some like colubrids for a little while. Hypo what, the, uh, the boa is a hypo jungle, head VPI, plus head annery. Don't forget to bring my shirt. It's not my fault you took it off, bro, and you left it. AJ's just leaving his laundry here so he can come back, so he has a reason to come back. But yeah, it's cool because it's what's nice about these vision racks is it takes three different tubs. So it takes this small tub where you can get three in a row, and then it sizes up to these where you can get two in a row. And then there's another tub that fits in here where you can fit one of them. And it's like a it's like a juvenile size tub. So it's it's pretty neat how these things work. And then the, the other vision tubs are um, 32 quart. And then if you turn these to the side, I have this here for insulation. This is getting ready to come off here in the next few days because it's no longer winter. I don't need to insulate it anymore. Um, but it also takes, if you turn it sideways, you can fit two 15 quarts on each side. So that's why I like the vision racks and they're pretty affordable compared to most other, uh, um, most other racks. Well, Jamie, my story begins at a party. I arrived with dad and left with mom. But seriously, I'm from Cali. <laughs> Your story begins at a party. I arrived with dad and left with mom. That's hilarious. I get what you're saying. Nice, I got a hypo head call going for the Sun Glow project in a few years, nice. That's super rad, man. Yeah, man, I really like the uh, the VPI hypos, man. Those things are rad. Uh... Banana, banana cinnamon, 66% hip for pie. 66% hit for pride. Austin was cracking up. Uh, he's been a little smart ass today. He's like, yeah, you show off all your snakes in every live. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do, bro. But I definitely need to get some more colubrids, man. I've got my eye on a Mexican black king snake. Um, and garter snakes, I definitely want to add more. They're just so hard to find. Yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here in a few minutes. I told you guys it's going to be a short live. I do apologize, but we still have a few more days left in the week. Um, one of my best friends is driving down from uh, Northern California. So one of these nights I may not go live. Um, so I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up for that now. Duh, it's a channel about snakes. Why would I, what would I show off my shoe collection? I think one of the nights I was showing off some Pokemon cards. I think. I don't remember. No, I was just showing them to Austin. I'll catch everyone later. Good hanging out. All right, see you later, bro. I know it's super late where you're at, man. Hope uh, everything's going well. I look forward to more of your videos, bro. So stay up, bro. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, sorry for the short live. You guys get some rest, get some sleep. I'm going to knock out this video. Um, I'm going to have it live. Uh, I'm probably going to do early morning. That way I have the rest of the afternoon to promote the video. So... Yeah, it'll probably be 8.30 my time, so roughly 11.30 East Coast time. And I can't speak on the rest of the world. I'm not that educated with time. But um, as always, guys, Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs, um, you know the drill. Go get